Today our aim is to make a countdown system for our game. Our countdown system will be time scale independent also has some cool dynamic animations. This is our starting scene. As you can see it's just an empty scene. For countdown we first we need an UI. So let's make it. Go to hierarchy and right click on the hierarchy. Then go to UI. Take a canvas. Let's call it countdown. Change the UI scale mode to scale with skin size and give default resolution. For me it's 1080 and 1920. Then right click on canvas, go to UI then take a image. This will be our countdown container. Let's call it container. Stretch it. Then change the alpha to 0. Right click on image container, go to UI, then take text mesh pro. Okay? This one will be our countdown text and stretch it so it takes the full space. Then alignment center center give auto size and give the max size to something like 200 I have a custom font so I'm going to use that one if you don't have it just use a default one it's okay now I'm going to disable this game object so right now our UI is done empty object on the hierarchy call it countdown manager drag your script to this object then open the script remove the default methods first take a variable called count uh, count down start number then we want to take reference for our countdown text so public tmp text count down text then going to take another variable called count down count and another variable for our canvas count down canvas now we are going to make a method called public void start count down we are going to make countdown with using a coroutine so private i enumerator count down co we are going to call our countdown from start countdown so start coroutine countdown co Whenever we are calling our coroutine, we are going to countdown canvas dot game object dot selective true. Also countdown count equal to countdown start number. Our coroutine gets called. We are going to yield return new wait for seconds. We are going to wait for one second. then we are going to reduce our countdown count by one if our countdown count is greater than or equal to zero we are going to call our coroutine again if not we are going to print a message called debug dot log count down finished Also, we are going to disable our canvas. Now we have to show our countdown text to our text object. So countdown text dot text equal to countdown count the true string. We have to convert it to a string that because it's an integer variable. 
for testing purposes i'm going to use update if input dot get key down space we are going to start a countdown so for your case you want to call this method from a button or like you want to call it from your start okay so if we go to our scene then add our variables uh, so you we are going to start a countdown from three and countdown text this one as a text here then for countdown canvas just drag out the canvas now if you play project and press space one zero so our countdown is kindly working but we want to show like three two one go so for that we are going to take another variable we are going to call it um, countdown uh, int message and we are going to need a condition here if our countdown count greater than zero we are going to show our number else copy this line of code then we're going to show our message here our message is a string variable so we don't have to convert it now let it compile and um, in message press like go now if you play space go. see it's working perfectly already uh, counter finished and you can start your game so this is our simple countdown you can use it for anything but one important thing let's say you have a uh, situation on your game you are spawning things whenever your game starts okay F for that case this coroutine will not work uh, this system will not work for that i'm going to show you how you can use this system for that kind of situation whenever we are starting our countdown we are going to time the time scale equal to zero and whenever our countdown is finished we are going to time scale one we have to do one more thing here you can see we are wait for second one second right we have to wait for seconds in real time this will pause your whole game except the countdown after the countdown uh, is finished your start will uh, spawning things you know so i think you should use this one that's because uh, you can use it for uh, for all of the cases almost okay so if you press space now three two one go if you follow me uh, or follow my channel you know i want to do something uh, a little more like right now it's working perfectly like the three two one go but i think it's boring uh, because there is no animations and nothing is happening okay so let me show you uh, how you can add some dynamic animation onto the system so it will look good first select your canvas and activate your canvas then add component canvas group you see alpha value so i if you go to zero it's uh, so text is not showing if i go one you see so i i want to do something similar to this one with the script dynamically for that one we are going to use uh, dot win if you don't have dot win just go to your asset store and it's a free package just add to your assets and go to package manager uh, search for uh, my assets then do twin you can import and set up set it up for me i already set it up so i'm not going to do that again now so we are first we need to take our canvas group reference so canvas group canvas group whenever we are setting our text here i want to do something like canvas group dot do fade 
uh, so it will handle the alpha so what we want to do we want to go from 0 to 1 first so we're going to 1 from like 3 seconds and yeah so let me show you something interesting uh, if you want to play game right now it will not work uh, let me show you why it will not work if you know press play it's nothing working okay that's because our time scale is zero so dotwin uh, have a simple method update yeah set update true this one make sure your update is independent if you now play it space you see it's working but it's not going down again so you have to code it up uh, so canvas go do fit we are going from zero to one then whenever our animation is complete we are going to call this copy this line of code and go to true and we have right now we'll go from one to zero so this one will not look good that because our it will go from zero to one then instantly it go from one to zero so i want to give some delay uh, so like set delay uh, something like mm, 3f yeah now let's see what happens if you press space three two one go see it's, it's cool right it's it's showing a nice animations i want to do one more thing so uh, let's change our alpha to one so what i want to do is i'm going to change the scale variable on his goes is so it's similar to this one also changes alpha so for that one i'm going to use dot win again go to countdown manager we're going to countdown text dot rec transform dot do a scale first we are going from zero to one right so vector three one and again give like three f yeah set update true and on complete semicolon here going to copy this line of code and we are going from 0 to 1 and now 1 to 0 so vector 3 0 yeah, yeah. also uh, play with these variables okay so i found out like if you give more than one second it doesn't work properly and it doesn't look good so play around with it now our countdown alpha 0 if you now play see but one more problem you see we didn't use our delay so let's give our delay that's why it's going to first also make our countdown scale to zero now if you play and space go again three two one go see it's, it's really cool like just four line of code it looks totally different right so anyway guys this is for today if you guys have any question or need further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below and remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you guys for watching